Hello and uh, welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now this is going to be a really quick review actually. Um, a while ago I mentioned that I was, look, I've been looking for another speaker brand and I was offered a pair of Dali Minuet SEs to try because I'd be quite, I should be quite interested in Dali. I've not, I've dealt with Dali for years and years. Um, I can't even remember how long ago it was. Um, but they sort of came to the UK and then sort of did it, they had a couple of models and they, they disappeared. I think whoever was importing them uh, decided it wasn't worth doing and, and stopped importing. I think that's that's my memory of it anyway. And then later, much much later, sort of probably 10, 20 years later, um, they've come back in and they've got a great range and they've become one of the sort of big three or four brands really in the UK now. So they've, they've been they've really they've really sort of come forward and really been making some big inroads into the into the sort of speaker market. So on that basis, I thought I'm going to let's give them a go. Let's let's, let's see what they're like. Um, like I say, it's going to be a quick review because um, I've, just, I've just had an email from them saying that they could do with this pair back, actually, because they're going to be sent to a magazine for review. So uh, I'm, just going to, I'm just going to give my first impressions, really. I'm not going to go into too much detail. So, um, yeah, let's have a look. So, yeah, Dali Minuet SE. And the SE, the SE part of it gives you this really nice high-gloss worn-up finish. I think this is the only finish that they're available in the SE anyway. Um, you also get... Some better, sort of better grade components on the crossover. Uh, drive units, I'm not sure. I didn't really do that much research on them, to be honest. But um, mainly have a really good listen. Um, treble unit, nice soft dome, uh, near new magnet, quite a light, very, very lightweight uh, cone on that. So it's, it's very quick. And you can tell it's, it's got a real precision about it, the, the treble on these. Um, interesting, that looks like fiber glass on the driver. I haven't looked that up, but it looks like, I think that's a fiber glass driver. So very, very lightweight, very rigid. Um, base output of these is quite surprising, really. They're very, um, they seem very linear. They don't seem, a lot of small speakers, they seem to boost the base output a little bit just to make them sound bigger than they are. I don't, th they don't give that impression at all, these. They sound very linear. Uh, they're not very efficient. I mean, that's not unusual. Uh, they're 860B, 4 and what, um, which is quite, quite low, not, not tragically low, but it's quite low. Um, but most amplifiers will drive that reasonably in small rooms. There's not going to be any issues particularly. Um, I mean, they do that. They do that so that they need to. to the, the efficiency comes from the sort of mid-band area being dropped down to match the bass output. Um, so to get to get the flat response, you have to take all the peaks off, and that's why they, they measure more more inefficient really. And you, you find that with a lot of small speakers, lots of these on things like uh, neat iotas and. Uh, little um, Ophidian Minimos are all very pretty inefficient, really. But like I say, generally used in small rooms, generally not a problem. Um, so yeah, that's the drivers. Uh, just got to have a look around the back and uh, look at the connectors. Yeah, some quite quite high end stuff going on here. There's quite an unusual port arrangement actually. I don't know if you can see that. The port is here, um, so it's not fine straight back out um, of the speaker. So that's probably why they're not quite as fussy. If you do push them in closer to a wall, they don't seem to mind too much. Um, these connectors, they do, they really look like WBT. I'm not convinced they are, but they very, look very much like a WBT connector. Um, nice sort of brass type um, logo on the back. Little uh, bungs there for, a, I'm assuming, a wall bracket. So whether you put these on a wall, I'm not sure, but it, 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 it is available too if you want to. Um, so yeah, let's turn, turn back around again. Oh, it's only single wire, not, not bi wire, but that's yeah, fairly par for the course now. Bi wiring seems to have, have disappeared, particularly in the, the more specialist end. It's not something you particularly see now. Um, yeah, let's just turn it back around again. And they are actually a very small speaker. I mean, they're deceptively small. Um, and I've got them on the, the solid steel stands, but actually they're too small for the top plate. So if you did, if you were going to use them with solid steels, which are brilliant by the way, uh, you'd probably have to opt for a smaller. Uh, top plate size. I'll get one, get one bespoke made. Um, and just, just to give an idea, uh, that's a, you know, if we put a CD next to them. Um, yeah, so about twice the height of a CD. Almost exactly what I said, actually. Just, just under. But yeah, so yeah, tiny, tiny speakers, bigger than a perhaps a neat iota, um, but only just. Well, yeah, only just probably. But yeah, so yeah, I was like I said, I've really, I've only had a brief time with these, but I've really enjoyed them. They do sit, they'll play at lower levels and sound nice and full and clear. Um, they don't mind taking a bit of volume. They've got great dynamics. The treble is really 
delicate and sweet, and it does sort of things like um, symbols and things like that are really clean and clear on them. Travel unit, I think, on these is really good. It does seem to work well. Um, but the, the thing that takes you by surprise is they do have tremendous, quite a tremendous sort of bass quality to them, really. Not loads of bass. Um, you'd never get that out of a small speaker anyway, but they do seem as though they've got a fair bit of extension and it's not sort of a false uh, engineered in hump in the bass to make them sound bigger than they are. It does sound very linear. They do seem as though it's a true bass extension. It's not trying to trick anybody. Uh, which is quite something in a speaker this sort of size. I mean, they're not cheap. Um, I'm trying not to give prices at the moment because the way prices are changing, but I've just been criticised in comments for not giving price on something. Um, it's difficult at the moment because things are going up so much. At the moment, as of the 8th of, of March 2022, these are £1,300. What they will be tomorrow or the next week, who knows? Because things are going mad at the moment. But anyway, um, so yeah, thirteen hundred pounds. So they're they're sort of more more expensive than a pair of neat, the neat Iota sort of mentioned. More expensive than Mini Mo's, but great finish. And, and really, sound wise, it's interesting. I think they're possibly one of the best speakers around. This sort of money that are this small, uh, probably neat SX threes, um, which are a bigger bigger cabinet and the same sort of money. I would probably prefer to be fair. I think they're a bit more natural than these. A little less. Um, closed in sound in, in some ways possible. They're, they're, they're a great sounding speaker, but quite a bit bigger. You're more up to this sort of height with them. They're not, um, they're not a mini speaker in this way. And th even things like Riga RX1s, which have, have just been finished, but they're cheaper than these, but a bigger sounding speaker. But that's, that's the, the trade-off of the small box, really. That is the trade-off. But like I say, not as much of a trade-off as quite often is the case. So yeah, quite pleased with these. And I think it'll take, it's going to take a few weeks, but I, I'm pretty, um, certain now that I'm going to have Dali sort of within the shop. I'm going to I'm going to have it start with a few models and build, just build it up. Um, certainly with a pair of these, these are great. So yeah, um, thanks to Dali for letting me letting letting me borrow these and give them a, give them a go. Um, let's just turn the camera around. Yeah, so that's the the Dali Minuet SE. Really impressed with them. I mean, more impressed than I sort of expected to be. I mean, I've had people telling me how good um, Dali are nowadays. Um, and I just thought, well, yeah, okay, probably probably quite good, but I'll, you know. But I had this opportunity, I lent a pair of the, the Mini SEs and really, really like them. And I think this, just on the basis of that so far, I think I've decided I probably do need to have Dali as part of the, as part of the sort of demonstration stock. Um, certainly a pair of the SEs. I'll need to listen to them with the other models and sort of work my way through and decide what I'm going to do. But that is, will be happening quite soon, really. Um, I mean, it's, the build quality, I mean, the, everything about them is good. Um, something that's quite important, I think, and it's something that isn't as prevalent now, is they're actually still uh, still family owned. They're still the original people who started the company years ago. Still the same family who who run it, and it counts for so much. I mean, they, it, it, you can see it in the attention to detail and the fact that they're so good for the money. That people obviously really care about what the product looks like and sounds like, and the whole presentation of it. Everything seems to be. Because it's their baby, it's, well, it is. It, it is almost like that. They're not, they're, not, they're not run by sort of the financial directors, or which so many of the big companies are now. And it, it sort of shows in the products that they're just bland and uninteresting, and they just churn out new models and new models just to get that review. Um, so yeah, I'm quite quite intrigued with Darlin. I think I think we could do some good things with it. So watch this space. That's all I can say really. Um, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Do me a little spiel. Give us a like. Um, I'll see you in a future video um, and hopefully my voice will be a bit better because I've picked it up my son's cold and I keep losing my voice. No, it's not that. It is a cold. I'll see you in a future video. Thank you very much.